Uh, for more, Jonathan Sheridan joining us live. Jonathan, um, interesting moves in the Aussie, obviously, over the past week. We know why. RBA cut, inflation forecasts. But what about payrolls on Friday? How did that pay play into it? And I guess play into global bond yields as well. Good afternoon, Ingrid. Yes, the, the payrolls number, as, uh, I'm, as I'm sure has been discussed, was uh, a weak headline number. But uh, importantly, the wage growth was uh, relatively strong underneath, uh, up with expectations, whereas the rest of the headline numbers were below the consensus. So. Uh, you might have expected there to be um, a bit of a tightening in bond yields as, as further Fed hikes are, are pushed further out. But actually, uh, Treasury yields sold off a little bit, uh, and we've seen that come through into our market today, broadly flat, but just yields up about one or two points. Also, I guess more locally, Westpac's doing a, a big US dollar multi-part deal for three, five and ten years. Talk us through it. That's right, yes. Uh, obviously, Westpac looking to, uh, to lock in some rates over in US dollar territory. Mm. Um, it's going to be a, a very sizable deal. Um, another one of the majors printed a, a $3.2 billion local Aussie dollar deal on Friday. So uh, obviously it's, uh, it's open season for the banks to issue bonds. Mm. Interestingly, the shorter tenors, the uh, three and five years, are going to be fixed or floating. Uh, but the 10-year from, uh, from Westpac is only going to be fixed. So it shows that the appetite for US dollar investors in longer dated paper is definitely fixed, just like we saw in the recent Sydney airport fixed 10-year issue. Interesting, Jonathan. We were just discussing property and the housing market here at home and you, you've mentioned that the budget was very property friendly but, but a bit anti-superannuation. And You're seeing clients actually move to reflect that. What are you seeing? Yes, absolutely. So uh, given that uh, bias in the budget, we have seen a lot of interest coming from clients into property related bonds. So there are obviously uh, residential mortgage backed securities, which we like and have liked for a long time. And uh, what we're seeing now is with the lower yields available in term deposits as a, as a result of the rate cuts, mm. uh, we're seeing clients look at high yielding property related bonds. So there are four of those available in the Australian dollar high yield market with the yields ranging from about 6.3 to about 8.3 percent for about five years. Mm, that's interesting to see. Jonathan Sheridan, appreciate your time on the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. We are unfortunately out of time. Big thank you to my guest host today though.